Hey guys, Biddy here with another episode of Feed the Beast Ultimate. As you can see, I've made a few changes here. Uh, my house is uh, quite a bit bigger, um, almost double the size, and um, I've made a basement. I'll get into that in a minute, but I've also kind of tidied up and uh, made things a bit neater outside. Um, still have my mine shaft here because I still haven't uh, gotten a quarry all set up. Uh, over here, I'm getting set up with my, this is going to be my uh, magic building, I guess. Um, this is where all the Thaumcraft stuff is going to go. Uh, the big table is going to go here. There's that uh, smaller table as well as the cauldron here. I did this because I've seen a lot of videos where people set up the warded jars around the edges um, for all the uh, extra essence or whatever. I you know, like like I said, I haven't really dug into this much yet, and I really, really want to do it. Uh, so, um, I enlarged this building as well to to match the other uh, the other building. Now, uh, another thing I did is I made a basement for the main house. Um, moved all my uh, machines down here. I'm, this is going to be all set up for my automation. Um, they're going to be stretching out along the walls back here. Um, this here is for my um, ME uh, automated crafting. Um, it's going to be the multi-block unit. I'm going to have it so that there are going to be four CPUs and four of the storage blocks just to give me a huge amount of capacity. Here I'm going to be setting up a coke oven. Uh, I've already got the tank set up, and then what I'm going to do is is um, draw the creosote oil out the bottom and push it up here. And then um, I'm going to be... Uh, I set, a, set up a little tunnel back here so I can um, set up an interface to draw out um, the coke. And I'm also going to be drawing out the creosote oil out the back. I'm going to be... I think I'm going to be using those uh, those glass jars to do that. Another thing I did is I kind of set up a utility tunnel just for appearances. It, I mean it just really has no other function than just to kind of hide stuff. Um, so I'll be uh, doing all my wiring and stuff back there. I pushed my engines all the way back to this wall here. Here is where I'm going to have a bunch of geothermal generators um, for my uh, IC2 power and I have it facing this way just so it's easier to push the the cables out into the utility tunnel. I'm probably going to be putting all my batteries and transformers back here. So um, that's pretty much it for the new stuff. I also left off the bottom rung because I found that as I passed by it had a tendency to want to walk up the ladder so I just need to do a quick little jump. So, uh, that aside, what I'm going to do this episode is I'm going to start working on the, the um, applied energistics stuff. Um, as you can see, I've got a bunch of chests set up here. Um, another thing I'm going to do, I, I finally have all the stuff I need for a quarry, so I'm going to be doing that as well. Um, I'm going to set up some barrels. Uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, initial setup before I can actually use the quarry, and that's why I'm just kind of waiting around um, before setting that up. So first off, um, really to get to do most of the stuff uh, with Applied Energistics, you need um, some processors. And to create those processors, you need to um, get your quartz cutting knife. So let's go ahead and set that up. Okay. Next is the brains of the operation, the controller. Take a look at that here. Oops. Oh, and also, I, um, I have a new headset, which means a new mic, and uh, I apologize if there are any plosives or hissing or anything like that. I've, I still haven't figured out the, the best place to put the mic yet, so um, just deal with it for now. <laughs> um, okay, oops. Now, what we need first is an advanced processor. So we need the assembly, which is a diamond 
cutting knife silicon. That's right. I need to take the quartz dust and turn it into a blob of silicon. So let's take care of that quick. Okay. And I did this wrong. Redstone. There it is. There we go. Now I need to go cook that up. I should have done this all down here, and that's why I put the crafting table right in the floor here. So I didn't have to go back and forth. Okay. And we're all set. I'm gonna go put this in place. I need to find the best spot for it. That will be in the corner so that I believe that's right. Nope. That's not it. That's right. I purposely offset this a little bit. There we go. That's right in the corner there. Now also what I need to do is run this cable down. I'll get this set up and, and be right back. Okay. ME controller in place. Not entirely sure I want to keep it there, but for now that looks good. All right, next is the access terminal. Let's do the drive first. Head downstairs and start crafting. Okay, for the ME drive, we're going to need two basic processors. I've already cooked up the silicon. And why is it only showing one? There we go. Okay, we should be all set. And we're not. Because I forgot my chest. Now what did I forget? <laughs> Alright. Uh, I have my glass. My iron. Oh, derp. All right. Might help to collect these. There we go. <laughs> okay, drives in place. And all I can afford right now are the 1K storage blocks. And I'm going to make two of them here. So, um,. I'll cook up what I need and get those in place. Okay, so the 1K storage drive, 1K storage, I should say, um, basic processor, I already cooked those up to make a storage cell. So I get two of those, and then just some redstone, glass, and iron. Now, a lot of people like to pre-format these. I don't, because um, I just like to dump all the drives, uh, um, all the disks into the drive here, and just let that handle everything. Now, each one of these is going to uh, hold 63 types um, and up to 1,024 items of each. Uh, I mean, total. Total. So starting out, this is probably the best way to go because um, you're going to have more um, types of items than you will bulk. So uh, let's go ahead and start moving stuff over. Oh, you know what? I can't move stuff over yet. Oh. Okay. Um, first, I need to make the access terminal. So let me go make that. What that is, 
It's a conversion. I'll, sh I'll show you when I get downstairs. Okay, one of the first things we're going to need is some, some ME cable. Um, this you're going to actually need the quartz dust for because we need to make a quartz fiber. So it's um, three quartz dust and six glass. So why don't I go ahead and just make that up now. Awesome. All right. Okay. Now it just takes a couple of redstone for that. And I think... I just want to be sure about this. I don't want to overmake stuff here. We just need one cable, so I'm, I'm good on there. Um, now for the basic processor. Okay, that gives us the conversion matrix. And then our access terminal. Now the nice thing about applied energistics is the fact that you don't need to keep running cable everywhere. Um, as long as the machines are touching, you've got uh, you've got power going to everything. Uh, let's put this right here. Right now, I can start dropping stuff in there. Like I don't need this quartz fiber here. In it goes. Okay, I've got most of my stuff moved over now. Um, as you can see, I've got one filled up. The other one is getting pretty close, so I think I'm going to make another storage unit here soon. Um, the rest of this stuff, these are miscellaneous tools. I'm not going to bother with these yet. Um, this stuff here is all the you know dirt, cobble, that type of stuff. I'm going to make barrels for uh, the dirt, cobble. Um, I'm not going to worry about the gravel. I think I'm going to just chuck that stuff. The other stuff, the, the uh, smaller quantities, um, I'll be putting those into the ME system, or the uh, eight applied energy, applied. I'm going to be putting those into the applied energistics system. But in the time, in the meantime, I'm going to make up some barrels. Um, all those take, uh, it's, it's really simple. It's just wood and oak slab. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, I'm going to make up, let's make up two of them. There we go. It's that simple. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take both of those and I'm going to put them, oh, let's put them, should have thought this out a little bit more. Uh, let's put them here and here because what I'm going to do is I'm going to make um, some interface uh, units to connect to these. So I don't ha actually have to store the cobble and the dirt inside. Um, I can just... Um, come on. Oh, I'm full up. So, toss that in. And I think... Oops. Is it a shift? Yeah, there we go. If you shift, maybe not. Okay, I figured it out. You double right click. We'll put everything of, you know, whatever you're trying to put in. It'll toss it into that barrel. Ugh, sorry about that. So, let's move this stuff. I don't know how I got a grass block. Um, I'm just going to leave everything else in, in here, I think. Maybe toss this into the inventory. No, screw it. Okay, so now I need to make some interface cable. Oops, not an interface block. It is a, not an import bus, a storage bus. That's what it is. Okay, let me get my act together here and I'll come back in a sec. Okay, I have all the stuff that I need. Um, so let's get this interface built here. 
followed up with the storage bus. I should have made two of these, but I'm just going to do this as a test anyways, uh, just to make sure I can pull stuff out and put stuff in. Um, so that would be bad if I couldn't do this properly. All right, so storage bus. Look at that. All right, I'm going to kind of see if I can... Er, okay, 21... 20. Excellent. Okay. That's exactly what I was hoping to see. Um, I honestly don't know if I want to hold this much dirt, but, you know, it never hurts. I mean, it's cheap storage. All right, I'm going to make up another one of these for the cobble, and then I'm going to be getting close to being able to set up the quarry. Uh, I have something specific in mind on how I want to handle uh, that and handle overflow and, and stuff like that. So um, let me get cracking. I will be back in a minute and show you what's going on. Oh, and one other thing before I uh, get started. You may have noticed that this one on the left had been showing uh, amber and this one is as green and now they're both showing green. The thing I really like about this whole system is you can have um, multiple different sizes and uh, you know types of drives in here and it self balances so say you run out of space in one and it decides that okay you know say we've got a whole bunch of stacks of you know, whatever uh, item and it's taking up all the space in a 1k storage when it could really maybe go off to a 16k storage device um, you know, because it's got a lot more capacity, the same number of types of items. So it'll move that over to the 16K storage, freeing up space on the 1K storage for, you know, all the onesie twosie type items. It's, it's a really, really slick system. Okay, next item up for bid is the ME import bus. So I'm going to be using that to, to pull stuff in. Um, and I'll, I'll show you what's, what's happening with that in a bit. But first off, let's, uh, let's see. I have that already. Okay, and then we also need a sticky piston. You can either use a slime ball or rubber. I just happen to have a whole bunch of rubber, so I'm just going to use that. All right, and we are good to go now. Um, I'm going to start, I'm, I'm also going to need to make a couple of redstone engines. I should have grabbed that stuff. I'll be right back. Okay, I've got myself into a little bit of a quandary here. I'm not entirely sure where I want to put this stuff, but basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to have the quarry out there. Um, connected into the energy tesseract and sending stuff back with an item tesseract into a gold chest. Okay, I remember what I'm going to do now. Um, I'm the way the item tesseracts work is uh, you can't, from what I understand, you can't hook up applied energy sticks directly to them at least yet. So what I need to do is I need to. to um, send the stuff out the tesseract with I'm probably gonna make some uh, golden pipes just to make things faster into a chest let's see if I have any more probably just an iron chest might do we'll see um, and then I'm gonna use a, an import bus from the chest into the system now the big problem is Quarries generate a crap ton of dirt and cobblestone. Okay, so what I'll be doing is, um, once the cobble fills up, there's going to be no place else for it to go. So I'm going to have an export bus going to um, probably a gold chest just for capacity's sake, and then coming out of the chest with a wooden transport pipe, and I'm going to be making a void transport pipe. What that'll do is just delete everything that's uh, that goes through it. So um, the dirt, cobble, gravel, um, 
any other useless stuff that I, I can't think of at this point is going to be shot into that chest um, you know once it overflows here and then uh, sent out through the void pipe and uh, with the export bus you can you know specifically say which items to go out and then you set I, I'm gonna set that at a lower priority so um, to, to make sure that these fill up first okay but first things first I'm gonna be um, setting up the quarry I'm gonna be making up a couple of more drives here a couple more discs um, hopefully yeah I definitely need to make a couple more so I'll do that uh, Actually, we're getting pretty close to the wrap-up time, so um, I'll make that stuff in between episodes. I will figure out exactly how I'm going to set up this Tesseract and um, configure all this uh, uh, management stuff. So, um, hope you enjoyed it, and as always, uh, like and or favorite. If, um, if you like what you see, that helps out, lets me know that, um, you know, that uh that I should be making more. So um so till next time, take care.